Hello, friends. Seems that DaVinci Resolve 19 just came out of beta recently. And so, I think this is a great time to announce something that I should have announced a long time ago. I shoved DaVinci Resolve into a box so that you don't have to. Except I, you still have to put it in the box. I just made the box because it's, it's, it's proprietary, so I can't just ship it myself. But I, DaVinci Box. So to summarize, DaVinci Box is a container for DaVinci Resolve installation and runtime dependencies to make uh, running it on Linux hopefully work a lot better because DaVinci has some arbitrary dependencies that like, they are better about telling you the dependencies in their installer now, but you know, there could also be weirdness with like different package versions it's expecting and like you might need to do some workarounds. DaVinci Box handles the workarounds. Uh, the main audience is intended to be users of like Fedora Atomic and other image-based or atomic systems. Mostly Fedora Atomic, mostly Universal Blue because that's what I use, but other users on other distributions have, its, have had success using it, so your mileage may vary. Now, DaVinci Box is not the only project like this. There is actually also a community uh, Flatpak packaging for it, but the problem with the Flatpak here is you do need to build it yourself and building it can take a long time. Uh, with DaVinci Box, you don't need to build anything. You're just installing DaVinci Resolve into the container. This video is not going to be a step-by-step in-depth guide to it. I just wanted, to, wanted it to be a quick overview and uh, look at the setup process, which in the readme here, I do have hopefully fairly detailed setup instructions. Um, you can read those if you want to look into it. Link will be in the description below. For now, I'm just going to show you how quick and easy it can be. So what you want to do is you need to download the setup.sh file. Um, in the future sometime, I really need to make it where you can just grab that from the releases page, but I, I don't I don't have it set up that way right now. If you're familiar with GitHub workflows and release please and stuff, and you want to contribute that, contributions welcome. Anyway, uh, in the meantime, you can just go to the setup.sh, you just click on it from the main GitHub repo page, and then there's this little download button right here. You click that. And so set of scripts should be in your downloads folder. From there, you need to make the file executable. In GNOME, you just right click, go to properties and do that. You can also do it from the terminal if that's what you're comfortable with. And then you need to go to wherever you downloaded DaVinci Resolve to, that comes as a zip file. Make sure you extract that. You can go to the folder. Then you're gonna need to open a terminal and go to wherever you downloaded the script to. Then you type dot forward slash setup.sh and then what you can do is in most terminals you can just click and drag the davinci resolve.run file into the terminal and that'll just put the path right there otherwise you just type in the path where it is and hit enter and then that's going to pull in the container and get everything installed and set up and at the end of the installation you'll be prompted if you want to add the davinci resolve launcher which i should probably make that say desktop shortcut instead because that's what most people are going to understand. But uh, hit yes if you want to have the shortcuts added to your applications menu. So once installation is done, you should be able to go and launch DaVinci Resolve. And there we go. And that is DaVinci Box. I did not plan for it to take this long from the previous video to get another one out, but um, just real life happens. That's all I can really say about that. I do still want to do more Universal Blue related content, hopefully in the near future, so keep an eye out for that. The GitHub repository for DaVinci Box, as said before, will of course be linked in the description below, so check that out if you're interested. And uh, till next time, this has been Axel. Thank you guys for watching, friends, and I will see you in the next one. And also, DaVinci Box is the recommended way to install DaVinci Resolve in the Bazite documentation, so... Uh, that's terrifying. <laughs>